Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how much I earn a month with about 5,000 YouTube subscribers. My name is Daniel Chia and if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to click on the notification icon, subscribe and hit the like button and this will really help the algorithm to get this video out to more people who might find this video useful. Today, I'm going to be going through with you my YouTube analytics and help you to see how much does someone with about 5,000 YouTube subscribers earn each and every month. So, I'm not sure how much you guys think that amount will be. So, you can comment down below and let me know how much you think I earn a month. Just to clarify, I have about 5,150 subscribers and the amounts you're going to see are in US dollars. So I'm going to take you through to my YouTube studio and I'm going to show you how to get there. So if you go down to your channel, your YouTube channel, on the top right hand corner, you click on the profile picture and you'll see the YouTube studio. So once you're in your YouTube studio, you'll see the dashboard and here you get quite a bit of information, but I'm going to go right in and look at the analytics over here. So, over here you can see my statistics for the past one month. So, as you can see here, I have about 12,884 views in the past one month. And over here you can also look at your watch time, um, the number of increased subscribers in the month. But I think most importantly, I want to share with you guys that this was my estimated revenue for the month of May 2021. So it was $24.85 USD. Some of you might have thought this number was going to be bigger or smaller, but this is the reality of my channel at 5,000 subscribers. So as you know, many people make content that is so different, different genres, different topics. So mine was mainly based on saxophone music, saxophone covers, originals. But now I'm starting to move into sharing more about music business with you guys as well. Being a saxophonist from Singapore, how I monetize, how I make a, a living playing the saxophone. However, out of this $24.85, this really varies month to month. And I'm gonna show you some of my other statistics to show you how much I've been making for the previous month so you can start to see a trend. If I click on revenue right here, you will see my estimated revenue and down here, you'll see the past six months. So in May, I made about $25.89 USD. But in April, I only made about $10.30. March, $12.45. February, $9.96 and so on and so forth. So you'll see it hovers between $10 to $20 on average. And one thing I wanna bring up is also this amount is based on my RPM as well as my CPM. So RPM is the average amount you, I get paid per thousand views. And the CPM is how much I get paid per monetized ad view. Uh, this amount can go up to as much as 40, 50 US dollars per thousand views. And that's really for more of the insurance, finance related tech. Uh, type of YouTube channels, their advertisers pay a lot more to YouTube to run their ads. That's how we earn. So actually the number of views don't really matter. It's the number of times the ads are put on your videos and how many people watch it or click through the ads. So this varies so much. So there's going to be no two YouTubers that earn the exact same amount every month. As you can see here, my CPM is about $5.45 per a uh, thousand clicks uh, or watch time of my ads. Now, you might be wondering how come I made almost double what I made in April this month. If you look at my revenue sources, you will see that my ad revenue was only about $11.84, but my transaction revenue was $11.69. So you might be wondering what is transaction revenue? How come I made so much of that in May? So this was actually due to the super chat and super sticker function that YouTube has. So what I did was I had my live stream show at the end of May. So during my live stream show, which ran about 90 minutes, people could tip me by buying a super chat or super sticker. 
So this is what is registered as the transaction revenue. So YouTube takes about 30% of that amount and the remaining 70% is the $11.69 you see there. Depending on how often someone live streams and how much tips they collect during the live stream, that amount will vary monthly. So if I take the transaction revenue out of the equation, I actually only made $11.84 in the month of May 2021. So today you got to see how much a YouTube channel with 5,000 subscribers can make in one month. So as you can see, that amount is not a lot. But I'm honestly at a very early stage of my YouTube career. I've put out about 145 videos. It's only going to keep growing and really depending on the type of videos that you put out and the engagement you get, the amount you earn is going to vary dramatically. So I hope this doesn't discourage anyone from starting their YouTube channel because anyone can start a channel and I think it's good to be able to find out what is your niche and what value can you create for people who are watching your videos. So in subsequent videos, I'm going to be sharing with you more about YouTube, more about music business and marketing and what other avenues that you can create a good income and revenue from playing music. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to hear about any other topic related to saxophones, to music business, to me as a full-time musician in Singapore. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and you'll be the first to see any new video that I release. So hope to see you guys at the next one. If I take that out of the equation, really depending to see how much a channel that has 150 subscribers can make, 1000 subscribers can make in a month. So today you got this